Hello, I welcome you back to another edition of our Positive Word. Thank you for joining me. Family is everything. That is the focus for this session today. If you have your family, your close family, and they are in your life, you're in relationship with them, you have no idea how truly blessed you are. God created the family. God invented this unit called family. It's so sad that we see today in the world how much families have been decimated by all sorts of things that people have allowed to come between them. I am so thankful to God and I will always be thankful for the family I, he has granted me worthy to have. There is not one of them that I am not proud and happy to have. I thank God and I will always be thankful for my family. They are my rock, my solid support through life, no matter what comes. A few days ago, I saw a video on TikTok. It was actually a young lady she brought her brother and they sang and danced together it was so beautiful it just triggered this topic today i was like wow the the, the joy the gladness the excitement that flowed through my heart just watching them i thought and my comment was it, it was just electrifying watching them because in a world I, I work in an environment where majority are cut off completely from their families I've had clients who were at the last stages of their lives eventually passed and the, the workplace organized their funerals not one family member was present and seeing those two, a brother and a sister, they look so much alike. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know if they were twins, but the joy they shared. I was so excited and I know that there are people in the world, there are families in the world who are living united in peace, in harmony, supporting, hanging on, holding on to each other. That is the greatest force on the planet. Little wonder the devil is doing everything, fighting day and night to destroy that foundation God has created. But I stopped by today to encourage anyone out there who may be in a family where they are cut off, they are not in relationship with either parents or siblings. You are not alone. God did not create that for you. Do everything you can to reconcile with your family. I know it's tough, it's hard, but find it in your heart. Initiate a reconciliation. God set up the family so much that he devoted certain portions of the Bible to admonishing the various people in the family. Of course, the popular verse in Ephesians chapter six, we have it from verse one, running all the way to verse four or so, which totally just gives everyone, children obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right from verse one. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with promise so that it may be well with you and that you will enjoy living on the earth it carries on fathers do not provoke your children to anger but bring them up in the discipline and instructions of the lord the father the, the children they have their duties their roles fathers but what's the norm today you see young people children old people they accomplish stuff it's the mothers, because it's the mothers who are there. Where are the fathers? 
The devil is doing everything to make sure this unit is destroyed, is scattered. But we can take it back if we bring God back into the equation. In Colossians chapter 3, we also have some instructions about the family from verse 18. Wives, so the mothers here, here is yours. Submit yourselves to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing before God. It says again, fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. We see in Proverbs chapter 22, Verse 6, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart. Whatever you instill, you plant in that child, is what they will present to the world. The school, the church, the child minders, the community are not the ones to build your child. The police, the law enforcement, it is you and I. We have to take responsibility for the formative years of our children. Our forebears are handed over to us. We are custodians. We will answer to God what we did, however they turn out. So today I am just excited to present to you the fact that family is important and will always be important. I do not have the best family. We're not perfect. Every single one of us have got our flaws. But we live together. We agree to disagree. We roll. We laugh. We cry. We support. We continue to interact and relate with each other. That's how it should be. A stranger on the street would not do things that would hurt you. It's those you love. And it doesn't matter. Address the issue and move on. There is no point allowing the bad blood to flow, to continue, the negativity to prolong, to thrive between you and your family, your loved ones. I, I don't know how anyone else feels, but I do not want to have the, the, the opportunity to right the wrongs or say, I'm sorry, or give someone else the, the opportunity to say, I'm sorry, my family, and then let it go. And something happens to me or them, then the regrets set in. Let that not be our portion. I pray that God will bless families, those units, those, those structures where the parents are involved. If you're a single parent, God bless you. All your efforts, everything you're doing, to raise the children God has blessed you with. You're still a family unit and God sees your work. I pray that God's mercy, his presence, his grace will continue to be upon families around the world. That God will cause unity, harmony to reign among people. That they will walk together. Yes, we will have different views, different opinions because we are different but we will continue to hold and support each other. At the end of the day, that is how this united force can defeat the enemy, who is an ultimate one, who is after the family unit. Destroy the family. You have destroyed the church. You have destroyed the, 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 the society. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope that you will continue to have a brilliant relationship with your family as you desire, to the glory of God, bless you.